Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy here, Glossy, back with another video, and today what we're going to be going over is air handling in Discord.py. So, if you, like, can't tell by the errors actually, um, I'm recording back-to-back -back videos. The one that I just recorded, you guys will be seeing on Monday, at least from my time zone, which is EST. Um, it's going to be unmute and unmute, so I hope you guys did that, but this is kind of a requested video, um, it's called air handling. You guys really didn't request it, but I had to make it at some point because, yeah, you guys were just getting errors, and then I was just bombarded with DMs. I'm not even joking, Ninja. I'm talking to you. Um, I would just get mad like DMs from the yo. I got mad errors, and it's because of the same exact thing. It's called air handling, and so I'm gonna be going over that in today's video. So it's actually really simple, and what you have to do is we're gonna do air handling for Abel show you like a bit of how to do it and then you guys can do the rest of it i guess so all you want to do is you want to see the name that you have here and that's all you need and because what we're going to be making is basically we're going to be making another decorator so right and then it's just going to be called a ball dot error and then what we can do is that's all it's going to be called and then async and now you can call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it a buyer because if we have to call it later on, we actually can. So we're just gonna call it a ball. Let's go there. Something like that. And then we're just gonna be passing in CTX and error. And how you actually do this is, is we're just gonna use an if statement. So says after that's your main thing and so that's gonna be your actual error so we can actually just copy that right and uh, copy and what we're gonna do is we can you know um, just get rid of these and then dot pass that in here missing re argument required and now if we do that now every time this error happens we're just gonna await ctx Okay, now that's just a few of the errors that you would get. Another error that you might get, and this is a lot less likely, is another error that you guys might see. And again, sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, I got my brother working in the background. Um, yeah. But anyways, if we do D, and then if we just do ban high, or not even high, if we put in a number, right, that's gonna come in as other things, right? And I'll do, um, you know, we can just copy this, right? And do right here, put another error statement for ban. Right? I'll just do this, right? If it's missing a required, please include a number. And let's do this one, right? It says member not found. So what we want to do is just copy this, right? And make this into an else. So Ella. And change the missing required argument to not found and now please include I'll um, just put in number why can I not check member is not not found there we go and so now if we run that again you don't know, let's run both again and so if we do 
boom. And so if we just do D ban, just like that, it would say please include a member. If we do D ban something, member is not found. If we do D ban, if we do D eight ball, again it says please include a question. And things like this is basically think like the more errors you get, the more you can explore and do this on your own because I thought like I'll tell you right now. I looked at the docs for a couple and then I'm just like, right, yo, this is how you do it, and boom. So I said su I suggest you guys do the same exact thing. And yeah, so this one's a bit of a short video. It's gonna be only five. You guys can update all this. I'll actually update um all mine right now. I'll do a little time lapse. So actually, I'll sit down. all up to you but anyways this is gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it was pretty much of a short one it's only like eight around minutes of raw footage and that's probably gonna be shrunken down to like five ish but yeah if you did be sure to hit a like uh and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below if you need any help or just join my discord server i got like helpers me even i'll help out sometimes so yeah most of the time actually and the way the channel's been doing lately is really good and i'm like really happy we got like we're we've been keeping 100 views every 24 every 48 hours which is really good so we're about to hit on 2000 views like channel views so thank you very much for that and yeah Anyways, so next time, close to go.